Welcome to another episode of 10 Minutes Interviews, the first time on the video. Today I'm with Savak, and Savak is the CEO of Globanet. Savak, welcome to the show. Thank you. And um, let us hear your elevator pitch, Globanet. Okay. Globanet is a uh, archiving and e-discovery expert uh, company here in the US. And uh, one of our specialties is uh, Enterprise Vault and uh, another is Clearwell. We've been implementing these two solutions for Symantec for a very, very long time. And uh, we bring to the market add-on solutions to uh, archiving as well as your discovery, and uh, we get uh, into a lot of data migration opportunities with our own tools. Okay, thanks a lot. A lot of organizations these days are migrating data from one system to another. What are the main reasons you think for this and what advantages are these organizations looking to secure towards their downstream e-discovery? The biggest reason why people would move from archive system to another archive system is usually scalability, where uh, the existing system would not be able to handle the new volumes of data, and so people would need to move to a better system. And how does Globalness experience with Symantec and its clear e-discovery platform help with that? Well, uh, it's clear that Symantec's product is the leader in the market space, and so uh, people are flocking to the best, you know, best of breed uh, product. And we uh, have developed expertise with Enterprise Vault and Clearwell for so many years that we are kind of the de facto or well-known organization to help them go to Enterprise Vault and Clearwell. Okay. Some organizations are switching archiving solutions because the one they are currently using have been rendered obsolete by new technology. If you are in the market for a new solution as a company, mm -hmm. how do you know that the tool you are moving to <coughs> complies with current e-discovery requirements and won't be dated in a year or two? Okay. What I would do is this. I would, I would follow the market trends as they are being discussed by um, uh, the likes of Gartner or other analysts because yeah. they are studying the market um, and they're trying to be partial. So you, you've got to take a look at what they're saying and also take a look at uh, what the manufacturer is doing in terms of investment into its own technology. Yeah. So if they're coming up with new things constantly, like let's say predictive coding, all right, they're making some serious investments. And so that would be a, a good bet. And it's, you know, go with companies that are, that are just didn't just come up yesterday. I mean, they've been around for a while, so they've you know worked out all the kinks of, of being established. Okay. Can you share a couple of best practices for maintaining a streamlined archive, cloud or otherwise? You think the legal technology professional would benefit from? Okay. Best practices, uh, I would say, number one is uh, enablement of the folks who use the archiving system. A lot of times we go into companies that have deployed archiving systems, but the folks who are responsible for it are not maintaining it well, they don't know how to maintain it well, or the people who are supposedly um, taught how to use the tools don't know or have forgotten, there hasn't been recurring uh, training. So the tools are not being used. And uh, so I, I'd say, you know, if you're gonna maintain a proper system, you gotta be well trained or enabled to do, to work with it. Yeah. Um, another best practice would be um, structured policies on what gets archived and what doesn't get archived so everybody knows and not, is not confused as to what is a record to be preserved and what is not. Uh, another one I would say best practice is to know where your data is, have a data map as to where data is. Is it sitting on your laptop? Is it uh, at home? Is it only on the server? So that if there is a e-discovery um, uh, event, you're not scrambling, okay? You already know where the data is. You go and pick it up real quick and uh, you minimize your exposure that way. Okay. Corporations often struggle with data hoarding. Can you tell us what e-discovery risks arise when you keep archiving information that has no legal, regulatory or business purpose? The risk is, risk, I mean, it's, it's more of a cost issue than risk. I mean, you're storing data that you don't need. Okay, this is cheap, but that's not the issue. The issue is it's gonna take longer to uh, back it up. Uh, if you're going to discover things, you're going to have a lot of garbage that's coming into the discovery. It's going to take more time. So it's just a hindrance uh, more than anything else to keep storing this data that's irrelevant or not needed. Okay. So the final question is for you, Savan. Okay. 
What major improvements to archiving solutions are trending on the horizon to help the legal community better leverage client data? Okay, what's coming up is uh, automated review. I'm talking about predictive coding to um, uh, speed up the review process. Yeah. Also, what's what's already uh, started to take uh, take off is uh, automated classification as data is coming in to the archive to classify it properly so that you know what to look for and where to look for it rather yeah. than look for everything. Yeah. Right. Number three, I would say ubiquitous connections or connectors to other systems. And that's where Globinet comes in a lot of times because we build those connectors to enable the archiving system to tap into uh, any and all available systems so that there's one location to do the discovery from yeah. and you don't have to do it multiple times. Yeah. So we build those connectors and we integrate the whole system together and we migrate data so that it's all can be found in one place. Okay, great. Thanks a lot for your time. You're welcome. And uh, hope to see you in the future. Thanks. Likewise. Thanks.